Oh my god, what is that? A water hag? Jeez. Right, that is frightening. Um, I don't think I've seen a water hag before, and... Okay, <laughs> almost thought I had a limb stuck to my, my foot there. Water essence. And a tooth and venom. Alright, so I need to find something here. Okay. Tracks, footprints. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. Question is where? He has a burrow. That's kind of odd sounding. More footprints here. Oh, we got drowned. Or drowners. Over here. Nice. There we go. All right, back to the task at hand. Footprints. Well, if these are Johnny's footprints, he sure enough is real enough. I don't think we could say he's imaginary at this point. Or even just an odd state of mind. Alternate personality? I don't think so at this point. Tracks lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Okay, I guess this is it. Call Johnny. Johnny? All right. Don't be afraid. Is he human? You're a bucka? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. No? Why not? I can't talk. What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Something attacked him. Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Seems decent enough. Wants me to follow him. Come on, Geralt. Do I really have to ask this? We know that he means to follow him. Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. No, he says no. No choice. Uh, that's funny. Okay, let's follow him. Good, I've leveled up. That's awesome. I'm gonna have to be checking out. Ooh. It's definitely not safe out here. Godlings. If we want to read a little bit more about them. Okay, well, what's he doing? I need to clear this out. Damn, this seems like what's happening here. Okay, Johnny. 
I've made things safe. Come back. Stay close to me. It's clearing up. This must be the field. Or the clearing, I should say. I don't know if... Where's he leading me? This the place? Let me look around. Up there. Oh. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Is that a dragon? I guess I gotta make this climb. That looks like a dragon. Johnny, are you setting me up? This this seems quite dangerous. Alright, there's a path here. This leads up. Not sure. I'm not sure about this. Seems like a good spot to attack. Maybe not. Ooh, okay. I honestly thought I was maybe not gonna survive that. A wyvern hide, dragon scales, monster bone, and a wyvern egg. Right. It didn't do too bad, actually. What are those? Harpies? Wow. They are harpies. Okay, that's not good either. Come on. Bunch of troublemakers these things are. Lesser green mutagen. Harpy feathers. Am I seeing something up here that's just... I feel like I'm missing something. There's always like these little red spots on the map that show up. I guess... I guess not. Right, so what is this? A harpy nest? Wyvern nest? Sealed bottle? Ravens of feather. Bottle. Okay. Now I just gotta get back to Johnny. There we go. Let's see. celebrating my favorite words life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth thank you for this noble whoever you are long be your life hang on a minute i helped you now you help me would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors looking for a young ashen hair woman Why'd you lose your voice? I'm actually kind of curious about that too. How did your bottle end up in someone's, or how did, how did you bottle someone's voice? How do you bottle someone's voice? Magic in some way, but how did that happen is kind of interesting. So let's find out both. How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook. 
at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you as a prank or just to be mean. Right, so how did he lose his voice? How do you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, because word has it, the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. All right. Looking for a young so Let's ask about Siri. I'm looking for a young ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. <laughs> Defecating to the sunrise. Downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass <laughs> appeared. Out of nowhere. Young ashen haired. Just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. Huh. Sounds like Ciri's wounded. The woman from the village in the swamp, who is she? Yeah, I want to know more about this whole situation, actually. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. <laughs> so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. Right, so what about the crone? What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. But you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. So she went off towards the village. Right, so Siri ran off, I guess, for safety. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. All right, well, thanks. Got a little bit more help here from Johnny. So, lead the way, Johnny, lead the way. Run a little faster, though. Seems like... I guess my legs are a little longer. Take care of this drowner here. There we go. All clear. Loot. Monsters and Johnny's safe again.
At least Johnny knows his way around. I'd be lost. There's a bit of a path here. to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Lead me to the crones. Or Siri. It seems like the crones are actually causing a bit of... trouble. I don't want to say trouble, but maybe just malcontent here for the kids and the and this old lady maybe she has nothing to do with it maybe i can resolve the crone issue can you take me to the crones forgive me gran but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies no she's not allowed please it's important the fellow will be quiet gran please hear me out I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well... Since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. All right. Let's see what these crones are about. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all. Beseech I thee, answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. They speak through you. Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever too. Where have you been hiding, boy? Not how I imagined you looking. I wanted to talk to you. Hmm, these are interesting. I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen-haired girls. She's like a daughter to me. There you go. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's 
so I like him. So what happened to her? It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon us, white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen-haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now, our servant will bring you the dagger. Why do I need this dagger? A dagger? What for? When the Alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. Alright. It's a deal. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, White One, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger, for you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is, the dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, stone ears. That was actually really interesting. I kind of see why maybe her mind just isn't all there. A cauldron. You know where there is a witch hunter. Witchers, not quite the devils you thought. My evening with a vampire. Interesting novels. White Wolf, Iron Ore, Journeyman's Repair Kit, Coal, Sap. Okay. This is quite the hut here. I think it's time we keep going. Talk to the Elderman of Down Warren about the village problems. Guess I'm heading out again. Now where did I leave Roach?